Freely given relationships are vital, particularly for people with disabilities who may have only ever had relationships with paid service providers. Friendships that are unpaid and grow naturally throughout life are essential for all of us. At Community Living Project, our circle facilitators support each person with disability to build their network of friends, to share good times and common interests. Family and friends also regularly come together to form a circle of support around that person with the aim of looking out for them into the future. Angie and I first met, we think, nearly six years ago. Mm. From my point of view, straight away Angie and I clicked because we kind of have a bit of fun and a laugh together and we've got things in common. Walking. Walking, yeah. yeah. Right now and meals. Yeah. What sort of meals do we like, Ange? Healthy. Healthy, yeah. Healthy. Yeah. Going to a football. Could he, yeah. Yeah. Um, we went to, we've been in Sydney. Yeah. And Byron Bay? Byron Bay, yeah. Yeah. And then, it is so lovely up there. We live quite close by now too, which is good, so it's easy for us to just ring up and catch up and take the dogs for a walk or grab yeah. a quick coffee or something. Yeah. Friendships are often based on spending regular time together and on common interests in things like sport, food, lifestyle and travel. We have known each other for 17 years. So the Crows, we both love the Crows. Uh, we would go to tennis together, the 36ers games, the cricket, and we just bonded over that mutual love of sport. We've virtually grown up together, really. I like spending time with Jenna Gally to footy and catching up with her family. We went on holidays to Melbourne and had a great time. We went on a road trip a few years ago, or two years ago, to go to the Australian Open in Melbourne. Paul made a dream of mine come true, being able to go to the final. I have known Jenna for a long time. She is my best friend. Sometimes I need someone to talk to about things. My friends help me to make decisions. Sometimes if Paul's having a bit of trickiness, he likes to call me up and we can chat it out over the phone. There's just a lot of complicated things that happen in life and I've found that our friendship has been a constant the whole way through. He's been able to rely on me to be there for you and, and vice versa. Jenna and I like to make plans to see each other regularly. We see each other at church and sometimes we meet at the local pub or have a meal at home. I invited Paul to come along to church one day and you've been coming along for, I think it's like three years and you're, you regularly attend, you come along to a Bible study on a Friday night every fortnight and um, a really good contributor. Our experiences with friends become the memories we share and shape the uniqueness of who we are and our place in the world. Jocelyn and Julie love reminiscing about their Pacific cruise, looking through photos and remembering the fun and the great times they had. Natural relationships are at the core of our sense of belonging, our well-being and self-worth. Our friends also help to retain knowledge of who we are, our history and our ambitions and aspirations. Friendship is about spending time together for the simple reason that you like each other.